on the issue of refugees, I mean, we have Lisa yes. McLeod saying that 40% of Toronto shelter occupants are refugees. They're saying there's a crisis there. We have numbers that, sh that show in 2017, 25% of those uh, occupants were refugees. In 2016, it was just 11%. Lisa McLeod is engaged in fear mongering and using this issue to demonize people. The fact of the matter is the Toronto... What evidence do you have for that? Well, I'll tell you, the Toronto uh, asylum, the Toronto shelter system does not ask questions on the status of those who are seeking shelter in their system. So her so department is lying how, when they say would, that there are 46 so people... How would Lisa McLeod know who's accessing the system if the temporary housing uh, shelter system in Toronto uh, does not collect stats based on status. Number one. Wasn't John two. Tory also saying that though as well? Is he lying too? No, I'm saying that uh, uh, the, the, the figures that are being thrown around are not based on, on facts. They're based on speculation. There are not uh, the status of, uh, of people seeking the, uh, access to the shelter system in Toronto is unknown. Therefore, to put a number on that is simply not uh, factual. So it you're saying her department it, is not factual when they I'm say saying, that 46% saying, of those uh, occupants... I'm saying that it doesn't withstand scrutiny. And the record of Lisa McLeod speaks for itself. She has not engaged in our plan to engage with the city of Toronto to triage asylum seekers away from Toronto uh, by regionalizing the issue so that we can have um, other cities step in to work together. Explain what you mean the, by, like, by that. What I mean by that is this issue... All Canadians expect all orders of government to work together when we have challenges. On the issue of asylum seekers, the federal government has stepped up. We've provided uh, not only funding through the Canada Social Transfer, we've provided additional funding of $50 million, $11 million of which will go to Toronto and, and, and Ontario uh, to deal with this issue. Now, we had a plan in place to work through Ontario and Toronto to, do, uh, to conduct a triage system that will relieve pressure from the city of Toronto. The province of Ontario chose to walk away from that system. We're still at the table. We're working with the city of Toronto to triage people away. And we have successfully done that uh, to the city of Chatham, Ontario, and others uh, to relieve pressure from, from uh, Toronto. So we're there. We're providing not only funding, but we're actually bringing solutions to the table. The government of Ontario is not doing that. They're not engaged. Instead, they've unfortunately decided to engage in fear-mongering and demonizing of asylum seekers, which is not what Canada is do, all about. Do you feel that John Tory also demonized asylum seekers? Because he no, raised I, the exact I, same I, concerns, to be fair. No, I, I, I engaged um, uh, Mayor Tory on that, and I told him that we will always be there for the city of Toronto. Uh, the difference between John Tory and Lisa McLeod is that Minister McLeod has uh, called asylum seekers names. He, she is, what has she uh, called them? She has called them, uh, she has labeled all of them as economic immigrants. And she said that none of them are genuine refugees, which is something that we trust our Immigration Refugee Board to do. And so we have to respect the system that we have. We have so, mechanisms so in you're place. You're saying that Lisa McLeod said not a single asylum seeker is a genuine refugee? When she did she said, say that? No, she said on her Twitter that, uh, that uh, these are economic migrants, that they're not genuine refugees. Uh, so th this is factual. It's on the record. But the fact of the matter is the IRB is in charge of determining who is... Uh, a genuine refugee and who is not, and we have to respect the independence of the Immigration Refugee Board. Those who are determined to be uh, refugees will stay in Canada. Those who are not will be uh, asked to leave our country, and that is part of our law. Do you understand, though, the concern, and I, and I, I understand it's a political issue between you and the, uh, your government and the, and the government in Ontario, but the idea that, that, is being, uh, that is being expressed that there is sort of, uh, you know, there are services available. The shelter in Toronto, specifically, the shelter system that are that they're they're saying. You know, critics are saying that your government's plan is not adequately working. That this is not a sustainable way to to manage this issue. First of all, uh, I would point those folks. Uh, it's it's fair to have uh, concerns about asylum seekers, uh, but the fact of the matter is the numbers have gone down 75 percent. So if our plan was not working. Why well, the actually, numbers the numbers are up this time over. There are. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the, the, the numbers uh, uh, compared to last year. Well, we, you're talking had... month to month. If you're talking year over year, there's actually more asylum seekers that have crossed into Canada this so, time this so, year compared to this time last year. 
What overall. Canadians, Vashi, what Canadians expect us to do is to work with all orders of government to make sure that when challenges present themselves, that we come up with solutions that, uh, that each level of government is able to implement. The federal government is there. We've worked very closely uh, with the City of Toronto. We were willing to uh, engage uh, the province of Ontario. They decided not to be part of the solution. We haven't uh, left uh, the City of Toronto uh, on its own. We've provided not only money, but a triage system to triage people away from the City of Toronto while they wait for their hearings. We have to let the system take its course.